Hello beautiful bookworms, my name is Katarina and welcome to my channel. So today is Wednesday and for that reason I have another Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday was created by Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey and I'll leave the link to her channel down below and also to our Goodreads group if you want to check out some topics for the next two Wednesdays. So the topic for this Wednesday is books that will make good video games. And I was really excited about this because I have recently been playing some video games like Bioshock and uh, Deus Ex, I think that's how you call it, and also Naruto. I played all of the Naruto games with my boyfriend, so I'm kind of getting a lot more into video games. So I decided this was a good way for me to think about it and decide what books will be good video games. So without further ado, my top five Wednesday books that will make good video games. So number five, I thought a lot about this because I actually had only four and I was like, I have to have a number five. And so I went through all of my bookish collection and some of them, I wanted them to be video games, but I was, th I was thinking about like the playability of the thing. So for number five, I decided A Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin. Why? Because this could be like um, a tactical game and not so much a fight magic fantasy game, but a tactical one, like who was in the throne, you could play with the characters that you want, like you could be a Lannister or you could be like uh, Stark or Targaryen, something like that. And through that, you would play the story of that character and you would try to get to the throne and you would have to make decisions. And if you didn't make the right decisions or if you couldn't take like, uh, I don't know, if you couldn't make the right actions, you wouldn't be able to be in the throne. So I thought it was interesting, but I'm not sure how you could make a video game out of it. I, I thought it was interesting, but I don't know because I don't really know how to develop video games. But it was an interesting premise, so I was glad to pick this one, yeah. Number four, I thought of Wayward, and I already talked about Wayward here in my channel, so I'll try to remember and leave the link down below to the video where I talk about it. But basically Wayward is about this girl and she's half Irish and half Japanese and she's sent to live with her mom to Japan and what happens is that she discovers that she has powers and that she basically has to fight demons. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So it could be one of those games like those, you know, those Japanese games that you just have to, like have a, a whole plot and you have like a lot of cutscenes and stuff like that but you have to fight and punch some enemies and do some freakish things. I think it will be very good to adapt Wayward to a game. I would like to play that game and I think a lot of people like to play that game because those type of games I feel like they're played a lot. Like, I don't know, but I would really like to see this as a game. Number three is Helsing by Kota Irano. And why Helsing? Because this is the ultimate fight game. Fight game in a sense that you're in the middle of a war and uh, you're supposed to be connected with the Van Helsing organization. So you just have to kick some ass and you can fire some guns. Yeah, I don't know, you can use other methods of killing people and you have to kill zombies and other undead or freakish things of nature that threaten the queen and the country. So you would have missions. Maybe you could play like like the main characters. You could play like Ceres Vittoria or you could play Alucard. That would be that would be so great if you could be Alucard in a game. I'm fangirling, I'm sorry, but I just I love Helsing and I would really love to shoot some zombies in the head being Alucard. Number two is the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. I think this will be an amazing game. Why? Because first, magic powers. And second, because the scenes, the action scenes in this book, they're so great. They're freaking amazing. They're like described as a movie, like an action-packed movie. So I think it will be awesome if they could translate that into a video game because it will be so awesome to be as kick-ass as these characters and use their magic and use their abilities to fight and you actually have a plot that is really cool for a video game like you have to dethrone a ruler and then 
etc etc because I don't want to spoil anything for people that haven't read this trilogy but you have a lot of action-packed plots and it will be just amazing to play as Vin or yeah pretty much as Vin because she's our main character but as other characters as secondary characters I don't know a lot about how to develop video games as you can understand but I would love this, this will be amazing, so yeah. And my number one would be Fairy Tale. And why, like I said, I played all of the Naruto video games with my boyfriend, and I was thinking, why not Fairy Tale? Because Fairy Tale is freaking awesome. It doesn't have. It has magic in it! Like, and you could play, like, being the main wizard or the other wizards and stuff like that. And it will be so awesome and you could have those things that Naruto also have that you if you're playing with two friends or stuff like that you could kick each other's butt with a character that you choose and the plots in this the arcs they are so so freaking cool and you also have like the boss scenes and the like the minor boss things the mid boss stuff I don't know like it will be so freaking awesome to have this video game I would buy it I would play it and I would love it because I, I love fairy tales, so yeah, I would love it. So this is all for my top 5 books that will make good video games. I don't know if I explained myself correctly as how I want them to be video games and how would this work, but if you are with doubts or if you want to explore a little bit more of the books that I said it will make good video games, please tell me in the comments down below. And if you know some books that will make good video games, you are also free to tell me in the comments down below. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you like this. If you like it, please leave a like or subscribe. Bye!